Hello, my name is Joshua. I'm with telescopes.com, a hay needle company. And today I'm going to discuss the Jumel Dobsonian. I'm going to break it into two parts. The first part will be the base, which you see in front of me. And later we will discuss the second part, which is the OTA, which is to the right of me. For the first part, we are going to discuss and put together the base. So here are all the parts we have laid out before us. We have the side bases, the front base, and right here are the base plates. These are the bearing plates that will go in between them. And then we have your handle, your eyepiece holder. These are the legs for your base plate for your mount. These are just your screws that will assemble everything all together, as well as your bushings that will connect your bearings with your base plate. All right, first off, what we're going to do is I have my front panel and my two side panels. We're going to put these two together, or these three together first. So what we're going to do is we will put the handle together first with these bolts with the Allen wrench. The reason why I'm doing this is because it's easy to hold onto when I connect the other two sides. So we'll let these slide in. So now we got our handle nice and tight in here. Now what we're going to do is take your front panel and connect it to one of our sides with these bolts right here. And there's already pre-drilled holes so you don't have to worry about drilling anything. Just going to hold this. And you can kind of hand tighten them for a little bit so they're, you know they're nice and firm inside there. And once they're good enough, go and just take your Allen wrench and start tightening them in there the rest of the way. And here I'm just tightening the second bolt the panels. There we go. Looks firm. Now what we're going to do is basically create the same side as we did last time. So we'll slide this up. Go ahead and put your screws in. Same side has, has the same drilled holes already. So we just kind of tighten them in hand first. There we go. Now we got them perfectly firm. All right, now our next step will be to connect the eyepiece tray, which is right here, and it'll fit right here. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver for this. So what we'll do is we'll put it on its side. What you'll want to do is you'll want to feed in the screws manually just so they're in there. So that way your plate's attached. There we go. And the rest we'll just use the Phillips. Now your tray is nicely fastened in place. And you've got the first part of your base ready to go to connect up with your base plate. Now we're going to connect the feet to the base plate. This is kind of important right here is there's two sides obviously to this. You want to make sure where the brass screw is at. That's the side you're going to put your feet on. The other side kind of has a pre-drilled hole already in it which will be used for the bearings later on. So we'll turn it back over to the brass side and there's three holes for the legs already pre-drilled as well. So we'll slide our Allen screws inside here. The second one. 
remember you don't have to make it tight to, you know you don't want to strip it you just want it in there just so it's snug there we go okay now we just scoot it off to the side our other base plate with the feet on it and now we're going to work back on the stand I flipped it upside down as you can see and this is the other base plate you'll notice there are pre-drilled holes already there's a reason behind this if you look on the other side there's nothing here the reason for these drilled holes is so that way when we connect the bearings in later when we put these bolts in they're, they're flush against Make sure that you do it this way, otherwise the bearings will rub against and you won't be able to move your Dobsonian. So right now what we're going to do is take this plate and put it on top of our base. So now what I've done is I've put the bolts in and I've started hand tightening them just enough so that way it's secure. There we go. And once they're all in, I can start with the Allen wrench and start threading them all in. And finally, I'm tightening down the last screw. There's a, something really important to think about is after you've got them all in, kind of run your finger over them and see if you feel like a little indentation like they dip in. That's good because you don't want these to be sticking out when you put your plate that'll have your bearings on it because any type of warping will cause your base to stick. This is a really important step for putting the ball bearings together. You're going to have your thread right here and you're going to have a big washer and then a ball bearing and another washer. It's very imperative that you follow the step. You'll want to put the small washer in first, then you put in your ball bearing and then the big one. And the reason behind this is if you do it any other way, you'll shred the bearings and it'll cause damage to your Dobsonian base. All right, now we have, we're back to our stand with the feet on it. And you have your bearings with your bolt and the washers. There's also a little piece, a little metal shaft what this does is it goes right inside here, fits just right snug. From there, we have the bearing plates, which there are three of them. The one that looks like a wagon wheel will actually go in the middle. And then you'll put the two lightly blue colored plates on top, just sandwich them in together. And then from there, with this little piece, you just slide them. There you go. And that's how you can tell if its bearings are working. Nice and smooth. So now that we have our bearing in place, what we're going to do is take the other unit that we put together, the other part of the base, and we're going to put it right over that. This might take a little bit of precision. There we go. See how smooth that is? Now that we have our two base plates connected together through the bearing, we're going to put the adjustment bolt that I had showed earlier in between the two. Just kind of screw it in. All right, and now you have a complete base. All right, now we're on to step two, which will be the OTA. Off to the left of me, we have our completed base from step one. Right here is, um, we have the OTA, the big Dobsonian. For parts for the Dobsonian telescope itself, we have the finder scope, which will have a 90 degree view. We have the two bushings that will connect onto the side of the Dobsonian. The Dobsonian, actually, our Jumel Dobsonian is kind of lucky. We actually provide a collimator for it. 
We also have the battery pack, which will run the fan for the primary mirror, as well as it comes with a one and a quarter inch eyepiece, also nine millimeter, and a two inch, 30 millimeter wide field. And as an extra incentive as well, we also provide a moon filter for the one and a quarter inch eyepiece. So for the first part of the installation, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the bolts that connect the bushings to the OTA. Okay, once you get your first bolt in, there's another one down there. This thing is relatively heavy, so what I usually like to do is I like to tighten it and then drop it down till it lines up with the new hole, and you just tighten it right there. So that way you're not sitting there fiddling, trying to find the secondary screw when you could just line up right into it. All right, now that we have the second bolt in there, this bushing's done, and we will repeat the same process on the other side. All right, then we tighten the second bushing. That's in place, so now we have both bushings locked in place, nice and firm. Now that we have our bushings on our OTA, we're gonna to drop it right on top of the base with the little indented sections for it. We just gotta line it up first. And once it's in, you'll notice that the round sections connect with the round. Make sure this is very important and you have your smooth top. All right, now we have to put in the finder scope, which is actually really easy. I just unscrew, slide in, tighten back in, you're done. The Zopsonian comes with two eyepieces. One's an inch and a quarter, nine millimeter, which you can slide in right here. It also takes a two inch format once you remove the adapter, which you can slide right in and tighten in. There you go. Now we've completed the Jumel Dobsonian telescope. Um, it's actually a great unit. It's great for deep space viewing. It's affordable, family, kids, anybody can really use it. It's just, I can't explain how much of a great unit for affordable price this is. I really hope you enjoy it.